Welcome back to the channel guys. Today join us with Sam Smith Golf at Golf Repairs for you. And we're gonna be having a look at this fake SM9 wedge because I think Sam, this could fall through the net for a lot of people. I mean, if we wanted to be scammers and yeah. resell these on Facebook, on, on eBay, I think these could fall through the net on the UK market. And, yeah, definitely. And I think that's why we're doing this video. It's not because we're suggesting you go and buy these things off AliExpress, but we want you to be aware that there will be people buying them and reselling them at 60, 70 pound, and you thinking you've got a bargain. But actually, we're gonna get, we're gonna delve into it, aren't we? Yeah. So we're, we're gonna have a look. We're gonna check, you know, all the other specs as well. We're gonna check the loft, the lie, make sure that's right. Compare with swing weight, um, you know, even shaft. There's loads of stuff we can kind of check and just see if anything stands out really. And compare it against the real one. Yeah. You know, that's the main have thing. a look at the spin and look at the, you know, the numbers and how it feels, and yeah, give you some feedback really. Yeah. Should we yeah. get stuck in? Yeah, we'll take it. Yeah, so we're going to check the loft and lie now. Obviously, you know, make sure it's actually what it says it is. So it's meant to be 58 degree. Lying was standard, should be 64. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to see if it actually does read that. I think the only thing is, even if it is that, I wouldn't recommend bending it because it, uh, <laughs> it there's snap. a chance it could snap. Because if it's not a genuine one, like I said, it's the material is going to be way firmer. You know, bending voke is generally a fine. Um, so let's have a look. Fairness, 58, yeah, lie angle's out. So if you look here, meant to be 64, and it's coming up at just over 66. So yeah, it's like basically two degrees up when it's meant to be kind of an off-the-shelf product. But yeah, loft spot but yeah, lie angle's out already. I mean, that's a surprise for me. Yeah. That they've even got the loft right. I mean, yeah, that's, he, a, that's probably the main thing. No offence to some of the brands, but sometimes they can't even get it right. Yeah, true. <laughs> like I said, yeah, like I said, if you'd have done, obviously with your SM9, it's had a bit of use already, so we can't really say that that might have changed potentially over time, even if that is slightly out. But yeah, I think, at least for loft's right. Yeah. But yeah, like I said, lying was already too up, and I wouldn't even want to, recommend touching that i mean shall we do it at the end if you shall want if you don't mind if you don't mind snapping it i don't mind yeah if you don't mind snapping it it might be all right but yeah i think we'll uh, see if it actually bends yeah we'll i think subscribers will want to see that yeah we'll give it a go <laughs> yeah uh, we'll what about the length then yeah we'll have a good length um we'll get the specs up on the screen i think but um i believe it lengths 35 inches as standard Right, so yeah, 60, yeah, so 35 is meant to be standard. So let's take a look. Yeah, even that's at Big. 34 and three quarters. Yeah. So again, so it's like quarter of an inch short, two up, which is a bit of a yeah, weird bit of spec. A weird spec. Um, and yeah, I think, like I said, for your purpose, that's half an inch longer as well for Gary, you know, being his own wedge. Um, so we'll bear that in mind, but... Yeah, bear in mind that's meant to be off the shelf, standard length, standard light. It's definitely not. The only thing that's right at the minute is the loft, which yeah. is probably maybe one of the main things. But... I think the main thing now is to just look at how it performs, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I'll do swing weight while we're even here, but um, again, it's... What should the swing weight be? Uh, D2, Ooh, I think. D2 is normally standard. Yeah, that's very light. Straight away, it's... Yeah, that's C seven and a half. So yeah. again, doesn't say with swing weight on Tireless website. But I'm sure it's about D two, D yeah. maximum maybe D three for a wedge. But yeah, again, that's very light. Yeah, he definitely so, wouldn't be in the C's, would it? No, no, no definitely chance. nothing's ever C's, but it's a men's club. Um, so yeah, either D two or D three is meant to be standard. So that's definitely a lot lighter. And actually, in wedges, if you were gonna have your wedge or like yeah, fitted you'd heavy, weight yeah. you'd actually want it heavier yeah because again a lot lighter. of people say when you go heavy you kind of get that better tempo when it's a bit light you struggle to kind of feel it yeah so yeah a lot of people do go a bit heavier in wedges so yeah it's definitely not a spec you'd probably want anyway uh, is that so. become, is that a bit because the shaft's shorter as yeah, well yeah I mean it's only every half inch is three swing points so yeah. you'd only go up one and a half so it'd still be what C9 yeah um, so it'd still be a little bit light anyway so even if you were fortunate enough to get the right shaft length it'd still be too light yeah like so I think it's again the head weight must be a bit lighter you know again the shaft it says it's for SM9 wedge flex which is normally a dynamic or an S200 is the milling in face because I, I think I don't think there is is there uh, no. No. So the difference, the big, big bombshell here is, is in between the grooves on the real wedge, I mean, I'll show you, Mike's a bit dirty, I'm a bit embarrassed, but there's actually that laser milling in between the grooves, there's like three laser mills. Yeah, milled. there's definitely nothing there. There's no milling in that face. Yeah, so again, I think it's just a, just a cheap head, so head weight's just going to be a bit lighter, I think. 
But yeah, we'll see how it performs. Shall we have a look? Yeah. So shall we, like, uh, five shots we each wedge from 50 yards? Yeah, and then and, full shot, I'd and say. Then, and then about five full years. shots, about 100 yards. Yeah. Now, bear in mind, I've had this wedge about six months, so that will have, the grooves will have worn a little bit. Yeah, so, they? yeah, in terms of numbers, it wouldn't surprise us in a way if that spun a tad more. Do you want to just check the loft there? on that? Yeah, just, just check the loft. Just, just to cut out any... Like discrepancies. Yeah, again, because yeah. if it's, say, it's 57, for example, yeah. it's going to spin a bit lower. So, yeah, we'll check it. It has it. been used. So, we'll just double check it. Like I said, I won't alter anything at the minute. I mean, you, we can, need you, to. You, can, can, you can crank it up for me, can't you, if it's wrong? Yeah, we can, we can definitely do that. So, yeah, like, sorry, we're lying with 64. Yeah, tell you what, yeah, lost 57. 57? Yeah. Is it? So, yeah, I will, uh, I'll bend that one degree weaker just to have a fair test. Um, good thing we checked it, really. I tell you what, it just shows you the value in actually coming to these places, doesn't it? Yeah, man. Someone has asked me, Sam, if if they wanted to book in with you, like for a full bag check. Yeah. What, what is the sort of cost? Yeah, like so you can do a full bag MOT, so that's fifty pounds for an hour and a half, and it's just going for everything. So it's just yeah. checking, like your, you know, your wood set up if you need any different settings on the adapters, or you know, if the shaft is out. We, like so yeah. we'll, we'll check numbers of everything. Irons will check kind of again shaft wise, loft and lies. Yeah. Um, just a general I check tell you of what, everything. Basically. I think that's a great exercise for anybody who's, you know, keen to play the best golf this season. It's just a bag tune. Did, did you see the post I did a few days ago? No, I so missed some, it. Someone came in, um, got fitted for his irons, I two foot, it's half inch longer. Yeah. Um I can't say where he's gone, but he's gone to somewhere else. They said, Your lengths aren't right, you need to be back to standard. Never even saw him hit shots. Yeah. Um, so I don't know how you can say it to start with. He's then cut them down for him. Again, not told him about in terms of swing weight what it can yeah. really do and affect the kind of balance. So he cut them down, didn't even cut them down correctly. Yeah. He cut them down shorter than standard. And then he put 77 gram mid size grips on. Yeah. So I checked his 7 now and it was C4. Wow. And he was like, he was wondering why he couldn't get on with his I clubs. I thought I was struggling at C9. <laughs> and then as, as soon as I gave him a, a PXG, same profile, had same loft, yeah. same shaft, but half inch longer than normal swing weight, he did like eight yards further because he was just casting it. Because yeah. there was nothing there, yeah. he was just kind of leading that way. And then straight away, his ball flight dropped, his ball speed went up. Um, he weren't pulling it left. <laughs> yeah, and like I said, it, um, in the end, he's, he's booked him for another fit. He's having a yeah. PXG iron, I think, because he just lost all trust for him. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, you need to make sure that if you go in somewhere and having any alterations, people should mention the swing weight because yeah. it can really well, throw it's like it for me, My pin guys are up for sale, which is a shame because I like the I-230s, but, you know. Yeah, so, if you can't get them where they need to be, you're just putting a Band-Aid on it, really. Yeah. You're not kind of fixing them in the correct way. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's fine. So that's back to 58. <laughs> Am I safe here, Gary? Or... Yeah, you probably are safe here. No, you better move. <laughs> we keep getting a bit of stick off subscribers, but there's nowhere else for Sam to stand. Um, that light's right. It seems bright. Or is that yeah, normal? Correct. Yeah, yeah, we are right. Right, so 50 yards. Yes. Let's see what my distance control's like. Right, so five with a fake one. First impression, guessing. First, first impression, I can feel it's shorter, but, you know, obviously that's my preference to have a bit longer shaft. But I'm surprised how good that grip feels for a fake grip. Yeah. Um, it actually feels, I hate to say this because Gold Pride won't like me, but it actually feels really good. Yeah. So I've done well at copying that. Because it feels a bit lighter as well. Yeah, it certainly feels lighter, yeah. Um let me hit one. I'm I'm kind of someone who has to hit a ball to gear. More info. God. I can't say I could feel much difference. <laughs> so quick. In, in the actual feel of it. You know, like connection wise between ball and club. Yeah. I didn't think, oh, that's hard or it sounds different. Did, it, did you think it sounded any different? Have you seen the spin of it? What? It's absolutely ripped. Has it? Yeah. I mean, it looked like it stopped. It, yeah, it's very flat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Well, it shouldn't be it shouldn't be performing this well, should it? Well, in theory, it's not genuine. It shouldn't spin as well. So that's where they kind of go with technology in a wedge. It's more, yeah. you know, creating as much spin as you can. That's a bit too hard, I think. A couple of yards, I think. <laughs> What's it that? doing to the ball? Yeah, good point. Oh wow, you're not gonna like that. Was well, that a brand? That were a brand new Why? outfit. What's it sleeve? It's ripped it up. Look at that's to be fair. That's look proper. At look at state at ball though. What it's done to the ball? I don't know if you can see that on camera. <laughs> <laughs> that's I'm ripped sure the ball. You're a close up of that. That's absolutely torn ball up. Also, didn't check the ball after the SM9, but. You can see it's spinning. I'm sorry, more. my wedges do not do that no. to golf balls. Obviously, it's a brand you new wedge. You can see sort of like some residue on face there. Like, for a 50 yards, yeah. that's mental. Is that a full shot? Yeah, I'd say full shot. Anything over 10 fires and full shot, we all wedge fitting, wouldn't it? Could it be illegal? That's, yeah, that's another conversation, isn't it? Yeah. You know, all the grooves, non-conforming grooves, and that's the thing. Yeah, because have they purposely... Stop it at one bounce. Have they purposely done non-conforming grooves to kind of make it play a bit yeah. more realistic? So, do you think they're actually getting quite smart? They've actually... No, they're not, they're, think so. They're not going to manufacture it in a million because it's expensive. So instead, they're, they're just, just going deeper with the grooves. They've just gone deeper, yeah. That's shocking, that. And like I said, it's great having a wedge that spins, but if you're using a... You know, going for a brand new Pro-V every round... Uh, every round? Oh, I've <laughs> I've yeah, only hit five shots that's for you. Things, only 50 yeah, yards. Go to 75. It patches just, the pitches just passes. It's fine. You know, you can carry 80 yards and still pitch on green. Yeah. Moment of truth. I think this could even cut a Molitor up. <laughs> Yeah, this will be interesting. I think anybody who were to buy these off like AliExpress are probably going to be using them sort of balls, aren't they? You know, like budget. Yeah, you'd think so. Not going to be buying Pro V's at three pound a ball or yeah. four pound a ball. I mean, it felt good, Sam. Which is worrying, really, isn't it? Yeah, so I didn't spin as much as I thought. All that. Oh, that might have gone a little bit further. Oh, no, it's not too bad. I mean, usually, when I'm switching between clubs, I can give a lot of feedback, but it feels that similar to mine that I just can't. Yeah. What 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 are you thinking? I think main difference. It just spins. It spin, it's all over. Is it? Yeah. It's a bit inconsistent. And the striking doesn't seem much. Do you different. think that's because it's not got the milling in face? That it's not. As... There's something out. Yeah, weirdly, I don't think it spins any more than 50 yards, which definitely shouldn't be the case. Wow. That's what we saw. So, yeah, weirdly, at 50 yards, that spun way more. Yeah. Uh, but again, you can see it's such a big variance. Yeah, it's nearly double, isn't it? Yeah, and yeah, that's high anyway. Like I said, wedges, I think, can be a bit more varied than, say, like an iron or a driver. Yeah. Um, Obviously, again, dispersion could just be you hitting one a tad shorter, so that's a bit irrelevant. Yeah. But like I said, you know, you look at individual shots, which is what we were seeing. Um, yeah, well, like, so that was a weird one. It was like eight, seven, like really yeah. high. Then six, seven, that's about as expected. Then it went to four, five, then to nine, seven, then eight, two. Yeah. So, yeah, like I said, again, you could argue maybe strike, but. It shouldn't really fluctuate that much. Yeah, like I said, launch was a bit flatter, which you could tell as well. Ball yeah. speed a bit quicker, a bit irrelevant. Um, but yeah, like I said, it, spin wise, definitely as an average, way higher. Um, so let's why, look. Why do you think there's three degrees difference on launch angle when it's in loft? Again, but it sounds daft, you know, because it you can't. We'll, we'll get a, a dress position, but you know, because yeah. it goes in a bit weird. 
It like the, the fake one. It like goes what? inward. I don't know if that's what? affecting like kind of like a kink. Yeah, I don't know if that's changing kind of how it comes into Let the ball. Let me just point to it, Dan, just on camera. So this bit here, really it's almost like it's got like a little bit of an offset a kink. Yeah. yeah. So let's say seven six one nine. I bet this isn't much different. On full shot. And shots. you think it'll increase? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's like the same. Yeah. So that's why it was weird. It was like, that did as expected. You hit it harder and it creates a lot more spin, but yeah. the fake one didn't really do anything. And again, yeah. look at the difference in variation. Yeah. That's what you could wow. kind of see. That's a big variation. Look. Yeah. Launch angles have switched around now, haven't they, as well? Yeah. It, it just came off a bit weird. Um, even though some shots were getting loads of spin, it was just, again, too inconsistent. So again, you look at kind of full shots. Um, yeah, I think... There's another 4,500 in there. Yeah, and so... Full fake... Yeah, so it's like 4,6,7,5,8,9,9,8,3. So it's a bit more consistent there. But again, you had kind of that shot with a 50-yard one where all of a sudden it kind of... You hit it on a different part of the face, maybe. But if you look at the reel... Yeah, it's way more consistent. It's like the lowest is 8,4. The highest is 9,2. I mean, you've got 4,6 to 9, haven't you? Yeah, and again, even if you took that out, that's still a bit of a variance. Yeah. But you, you kind of had that with a 50-yard, whether you've hit it somewhere on the face yeah. where it just didn't spin as much. Um, but yeah, definitely interesting. Like I said, you then bring them all in. Well, I said it's basically identical from hitting it, what, 25 yards further as an average? Yeah. You can see what it should do. It should go up about 3,000 revs. Yeah. Not 100. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's definitely interesting. I mean, uh, where's that ball just to sort of... Yeah, again, dur again durability. Oh, wow. Look at this. Jesus. Just look at that. Let's have a look. You would, dogs, it? you would not be happy with that. It's absolutely yeah, yeah. chewed up. You are Sam a ball. <laughs> yeah, I do. But again, I know we've hit the real one as well, but the real one, I don't think, would have done that. No, no chance. No <laughs> chance. That's like, I mean, I've destroyed it. I've, you've seen, I play with, I play with like lake balls, Sam. And that was like a. Fresh, not saying I, I, ball, I won't but, play with that. I won't even yeah. play with that. Like, that's that's like I was a fresh pro V. 20 shots ago. That's mental. That's mental. It is, isn't it? So I think in conclusion, Sam, as you know, as much as it seems a bargain on the you know forefront of things, actually when you delve into it, it's it's probably not so much of a bargain. Yeah, anymore. like I said, it's for me, it's just how much the spin fluctuates, basically. You know, and especially a brand new wedge, there shouldn't be any yeah. fluctuation. I get it if it's a bit worn. But you shouldn't be getting that with a brand new fresh wedge. There's a lot of people, you know, we've done quite a few videos now on fake equipment. A lot of people saying that they think that these are real seconds and they're not, are they? No, you can tell they're different. They're just fake, guys. You know, let's 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 be re real here. I think even ferrule's a bit shorter than it the is. Yeah, the well. ferrule's shorter. It's not just little like, things like Titleist that. Titleist wouldn't allow that to get on the market. You no. know, it's just impossible. Um, but. Just be aware, guys, when you're buying second hand, because there's, n you know, there's no doubt that there'll be some of these kicking about in UK market. People are buying them to resell. Yeah. I mean, if I wanted to be, you know, a bit of a knob, I could stick that on Facebook for sixty quid and quite easily sell it because it looks. And that's the thing. I think if that was a bit more used, yeah, again, it wouldn't be as recognisable. Yeah. I mean, because it's brand new, fresh, it stands out a bit more in terms of the differences, but. I think if you had 28 rounds under your belt with that, I think yeah. no one would really be able to tell properly. That's a very good point. That would fall through a lot of nets in tradings, wouldn't it? Yeah, Pro exactly. shops and stuff like that. But, so, yeah, uh, save money on balls as well if you go now. <laughs> Guys, I hope you've enjoyed that video today. That's a real review of a fake golf club. We've got plenty more to come. Me and Sam are going to be making some good videos today, so yeah. make sure you hit the subscribe button. Check out Sam as well at Golf Repairs for You. Um, you booked up for a few weeks, aren't you? But yeah. Have you got a, an open diary at the minute? Uh, yeah, I said you booked whenever, but yeah, the minute I booked up that month in advance. So, so thanks to everyone that's kind of been booking in, really. If you want your clubs checked before this season, don't wait until April. Get yourself booked in now. Um, and yeah, we'll see you in a couple of days' time, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.